six piece nugget medium fries medium fries um barbecue sauce barbecue sauce please and a mocha frap and a mocha frap hey you guys it is 209 in the morning don't even ask honestly you can ask but i'll just tell you anyway so it is vlogmas day 10 i'm starting super early as you can oh see by the God. title of today's video <laughs> I am getting my wisdom teeth out, all four, and I'm just going to start the vlog now because my mom and I are on our way home from the office. We just finished packaging 97 orders. I don't even know how. I'm so grateful for you guys, and it's literally insane to me that you guys support me and purchase from my company. I just have no words. You guys are the absolute best. And I also want to say I'm doing some really fun giveaways for the holiday season. So if you guys want to stay tuned for that, they're honestly probably posted by the time this video is up. So if that's the case, I will leave the Instagram here. Check it out to enter and have a chance to win some of the things that I will be giving away. As you just heard, we're at McDonald's. <laughs> Um, we're starving. We're starving. We tell and, how long we were at the office oh, yeah. packaging. So we went to the office at 8.30 in the afternoon. No, at in night. the night. We went to the office at 8.30 at night and we just left literally 10 minutes ago. Now we're at McDonald's, like I already said, but I am having my last supper before I get my wisdom teeth out. We went to Whole Foods a little bit before the office to get some food, like soups and puddings and applesauce and things like that that I can eat while I'm recovering. Oh my god, so yum. From my wisdom teeth, since obviously you can't eat hard foods or anything with like crumbs and oats and stuff like that, I have my appointment at 10 15 tomorrow morning. Which they said today, I can't which eat. Is in like eight hours. Yeah, they said I can't eat six to eight hours before coming in, so this is literally like the last possible time I can consume any food. And as you can see, I got a mocha frat <laughs> and I got chicken nuggets and fries. I'm so excited. Um, but yeah, we have a whole bunch of stuff from Whole Foods in the back. Maybe I'll give you guys a little haul when I go home, even though I'm exhausted. But like, I know a lot of you guys probably like to see that because I kind of do also. And I don't typically go grocery shopping. But since we were near one, I just figured I want to go and pick out what I think I'm going to be in the mood for since I'm gonna probably be so miserable. Not actually, I'm hoping for the best recovery. And I'm gonna bring you guys along. Mm. I just don't know what's going on with the lighting, but it is 2.13 in the morning. Like, I don't know what more you expect. <laughs> I'm using the Duncan, I'm not. I'm using the McDonald's lighting. You're not even a laughing gas yet. Oh my god, I don't even know what I'm gonna say or how I'm gonna act, but it's actually this video that you guys are gonna see that. So just keep on watching to see how my morning goes and how my surgery right, goes. Want to about yes. this? <laughs> <laughs> so basically, I saw so many TikToks on my For You page about people drinking 64 ounces of pineapple juice before <laughs> getting their. <laughs> before getting their wisdom teeth out. And so I decided to take it upon myself. Oh, and by the way, it's for the purpose of not swelling, or at least not swelling as much as you would mm. without drinking pineapple juice. I looked it up. It has some like ingredient in it that supposedly, whatever, you can look it up. I'm not, <laughs> I'm no scientist, but um, I did this when I got my nose done and it honestly did help with the swelling. I'd say so I'm trying it again and I this is my second cup <laughs> this is only 34 no, but it's not from Dunkin Donuts yeah no this is not from Dunkin Donuts I got a Dunkin Donuts uh, cup of ice because I got <laughs> what is so funny <laughs> because I got this pineapple juice when I was at Whole Foods and it was in like the warm aisle and I wanted it cold <laughs> stop laughing at me and so I put it in this cup it's honestly really hard to drink. It tastes great, but it's just way too sweet. I got two of them because they're both 32 ounces and I need to drink 64. This is the rest of the 32 ounce. I still have a whole other 32 ounce to go and I need to stop eating and drinking like in 20 minutes. So like, I don't know what I'm gonna do about this. This frat with french fries. It's ridiculous. Perfect combination. Like actually. How nice is it that it's 2.30 almost in the morning and there's not one car on the road? I don't know. We were driving on the highway and there was not one car 
out. It's a Monday night. I wouldn't expect there to be cars out at this hour. It's literally a... There's one car. Yeah. It's literally a dead zone. Like... Everybody's sleeping. Everybody's sleeping. I mean, most people have work in the morning or school. Um, as do I. But I'm getting my wisdom teeth out. So, just enjoying myself. And I just finished work. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I mm -hmm. just got out of work. But yeah, we were at the office for literally six hours. Packaging all those orders. We had so much fun. We were just jamming out to Adele's new album. Singing Easy On Me. So good. This is really hitting right now. Mm, so good. Like, I feel like I'm drunk and this is like my, right? my cheese. And I feel like we just ate. So I have just laid everything out and I'm gonna quickly go through and let you know what we got. Some oranges, some ginger because my mom recently got a juicer. So we're gonna start making some juices, some cucumbers, avocado, of course, some pears, some lemon, asparagus because my mom is making asparagus fritters not for me but for everybody else in my family some celery also for the juices some bananas here some granola not for my wisdom teeth but to have with my yogurts eventually within a few weeks and then here is some pancake mix some annie's mac and cheese some fresh cantaloupe some fresh Kalamata olives, mozzarella cheese, some cheeses right here, a thing of the bow pasta, and some cheese tortellini. These really fun kids cut wagon wheel pastas, fusilli, of course, some English muffins, a thing of baby spinach, some of these fancy peach halves. These are really good when they're cold. Some applesauce, some beans, a ginger peeler. Not sure how this works, but it looks nice and convenient. And then a whole bunch of chicken broths for soup. And depending on how my recovery goes, if I can't chew, this is a great alternative to get some nutrients and also have some yummy soup. And then this is the pineapple juice that I was talking about before. I already drank an entire one of these. I was supposed to drink two, but now I can't eat anything because it's like almost 3 a.m. And I'm not supposed to eat or drink anything else for the rest of the time before my surgery. So this I guess I'm gonna finish while I'm recovering to still try to help the swelling process. Good morning, it is 9.53 in the morning. We are on our way to my wisdom teeth appointment. We just dropped off all the packages from last night's orders. So they will be going out to all of you. Okay guys, they just came out and said Evangel's done, so it was literally 30 minutes. So they said she did great and she slept through the whole procedure. Okay. Thank you. Alright, I'm going to go get her. Hi, sweet cakes. Oh, my sweet, sweet. I'm so, so drunk. You do, mommy. You look so cute. One, oh, he had a wow. split in half. It's actually four teeth, but one is split in half. Look at those teeth. Oh, I have five. <laughs> now one was cut in half. Sometimes you have to split them in half. Oh. It's less trauma to the jaw. Oh. That way. This Mommy is Daddy. the room. It's going to be a couch and pajama day. Okay. Oh, yeah. The mask. Thank you. Are you popped downstairs, right? Yeah. Okay. This is yours, too? Thank you so much, You're guys. You're very welcome. I know you got your hands full because you got a Is it okay if she puts some... Um, the name of the doctor's office on the vlog? Absolutely. Okay. Absolutely. Dr. Cole, the Long Island Center for Oral and Maxillofacial Surgery. And Kathy was best, awesome. Right, with the yeah. best staff. Yep. Yeah. Okay. I feel like I'm so drunk. My throat is so dry. It's not even funny. I'm so grumpy. <laughs> You're so grumpy? Grumpy. Bumpy? Back to the daylight. It's 11:24. Oh my God! It's so bright. So bright. So bright. So bright. I know. We gotta so go to the bright. pharmacy. I just want water. My lips are so dry. No, no, you can't drink anything till we get home. They said so. We have to follow. Oh no! I can't feel my lips. You can't feel them? No. All right. It's so weird. There's what is the feeling that? It's still there. Your lips are there. They're numb. It's so numb. I, I could cut my lip off and I wouldn't feel it. Oh, mommy. Are you hungry? 
one. You're so thirsty. Do you want this? I can't drink it yet. <laughs> I know. That's so mean. I love you, my love. <laughs> oh, sweet, sweet. What a sweet girl. I just want to cuddle with Bianca. You want to cuddle with Bianca? Uh -huh. Aw, sweet, sweet. I'm going to tell her to come over. I need to put oxygen on. Really? Can I put oxygen on? Yeah. Are your hands clean? Hold on. I didn't touch my hands. I know, but... I didn't put anything on my hands. Can I see my shoes again, please? Yes. Oh, I can't feel it. You look like a chipmunk. <laughs> I know, it's so big. Oh my god, I need ice. It's so big. Did they knock you out? Yeah, they put me in IV. He said to me, he said, Okay, you're gonna feel a little pinch. <laughs> and then he put me in IV. And then he said, I'm going to put a little medicine. And I don't remember what happened after that. <laughs> it just feels so weird. She said she feels I, so drunk. I, I can't walk straight. I'm walking and it like wiggles. It wiggles. <laughs> <laughs> and my eyes are spinning. <laughs> I, I feel like, but I feel like I can drive. <laughs> you feel like you could drive? Yeah. No, you can't drive. No way. No, but like everything seems like straight. Right? <laughs> That's what drunk drivers think. Everything is straight, but it's not. Do you no. remember? Do you remember the movie? Um, what was that movie when he took the Ferrari from Wolf of Wall Street? Wolf of Wall Street. He thought he did so good. <laughs> yeah. That problem would be me. Leonardo DiCaprio is so hot. Leonardo DiCaprio is so hot. So, wait. They put, like, a numbing needle, too? Yeah, they put a numbing needle. That's going to wear off in a few hours. That's why you got to get something in your but, belly. But why a numbing needle if I'm sleeping? I'm not going to feel it. No, 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 no. The numbing needle is to have medicine in there, in your gums, so that it'll last for a few hours by the time you get home to get the Motrin in you. Ibuprofen. I really feel like somebody just actually punched me in my mouth and I can't feel anything. Why do I feel like I've been driving for two hours? <laughs> oh no, don't, 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 don't. I really moved it. Alright, I'm gonna run into the pharmacy. You're gonna stay in the car. Okay? Want me to take the keys out? Huh? You're not gonna go anywhere, right? I'm gonna pull them up. <laughs> My throat is so dry! Alright, honey, I don't think you should be talking so much. You don't want the stitches to come out. What? I don't want the stitches to come out if you talk too much. So maybe it's maybe it's quiet time. Whoa. Stitches on the ears come out from talking. Well, I don't want the blood clot to come out or something. Blood I don't know. Clot? <laughs> I have a blood clot? I can't feel any of this. Oh, I'm so sorry. Oh, that feels so weird. Maybe the thing from Amazon, like the red bird, really shocked. Oh, it's so nice. Perfect. A nice chicken noodle soup. Should I take the gauze out now? Yes, you're gonna take the gauze out. 
Yeah. I'm gonna eat some chicken noodle soup. This is the first thing I'm eating all day. And it's 12.15, 12.16. Remember, no sucking like that, so just put it in your mouth. How am I gonna do this? You literally just swallow it. Mm. There's water spilling down my neck. I don't even know if I have the mask on anymore. My chin is totally numb, like 1,010 million jillion percent. Can't feel like that's the weirdest feeling ever. Hey, you guys, it's 3 48 in the afternoon. I've just been laying down and relaxing. I fell asleep for like an hour. I've been icing non stop. They say 30 minutes on, 30 minutes off, but my brother got his wisdom teeth out from the same place. Like, two years ago and he said for the first day he didn't stop icing and he barely swelled so hoping that happens with me too my lips and my chin this whole area completely numb all i took so far was three ibuprofen and i still don't have any pain thankfully i'm gonna go downstairs and eat something i don't even know what my mom made but i had a chocolate pudding right there before i had some pineapple juice and you guys saw earlier when i got home i had the chicken noodle soup and it's also so hard to drink like the water drips all the way down because i just can't even feel it go through my lips and it's the weirdest feeling my cheeks are so red from the ice but like i don't look that swollen like at all so this is great i'm not gonna jinx it though because it's only a few hours since my surgery. But yeah, let's go downstairs. I literally... Oh my god, my duck face is crooked. <laughs> that is the weirdest thing. Oh my god, I hate that. Some yummy, yummy, yummy mac and cheese. I haven't had this in so long. Oh my god. So I got an order from Amazon, the headband thing that everybody wears, some gel ice packs, and then I got these for Bianca and Nelson in case they ever need. They're so cute and they're just good to have. Then these are two matching hats, one more of like a unisex color and then one for Bianca. We literally just tied up these things that I've been using around my cheeks to hold them in place because I can't hold them anymore. It's too tiring. I highly recommend this pineapple juice from Whole Foods. Look at my teeth. One of them cracked in half. That's why it looks like there's five. There's only four. Don't worry. Okay, you guys, I'm still sitting in the same spot. It's 5.52 working on my phone, about to start editing right here. And my mom just whipped up some chocolate chip cookies mm -hmm. from Toll House. <laughs> Not actually. <laughs> Those are literally the best chocolate chip cookies. And I'm so excited to like kind of eat them. Kind of not really. I took my first painkiller actually because I started feeling a little bit of pain when I would swallow. I felt like the stitches in the slightest bit but I didn't want to wait it out because it could have gotten a lot worse. So I took one. Here they are. I wish you guys could smell them through the camera. They smell divine. Hey, I don't remember the last time I spoke to you. I think I was showing you the chocolate chip cookies, but I've been sitting on the couch here, changing the ice every so often. I literally can't even hear myself with this on. But I just want to update you guys because I am going to open some packages here. I got three packages in the mail. 
I also have a whole bunch of EP Jewels orders to finish packing. I honestly don't even know what's in these boxes. We shall see. What is this? Oh, so this is from William Sonoma. It is a pepper mill. We got this for my brother for Christmas. It like grinds pepper. And that was boring. And then this next one, I'm pretty sure I know what this is. I got these two Drew House hats from the most recent drop. This one is Dino Drew and Theodore, the teddy bear. So freaking cute. This is actually one of the gifts that I got MQ for Christmas. And I'm only telling you this because I know he's super busy right now with finals and stuff. So he's probably not watching this video. I don't know which one he wants yet because he's definitely going to wear the hat a lot more than I am, so I'll let him decide which one he wants, but I figured it'd be cute for us to twin. The brim is so small. I mean, flat, so I'm definitely going to, like, bend it a little. But yeah, this is so cute, and it says Drew right here. And the bottom is my favorite color right now, this hunter green. This last thing right here. I know what this is, and I'm so excited to open it. I ordered this about a month ago, and if you guys watched my holiday gift guide, you would know a little sneak peek of what this is. Can you guys see what that says? So, my mom and I decided to get Bianca an iPad for her birthday. Her birthday is January 1st, so we already finished all of her Christmas gifts, but this is for her birthday. It's her first ever iPad. Like I said in that video, I feel like iPads are super amazing and educational for anybody, no matter the age, young or old. I'm super excited to give her that and see her on it because she already wants all of our phones all the freaking time. So knowing that she'll have her own iPad to use throughout the day and stuff like that will be super fun but the reason why it took so long to come in was because we got the back engraved with her name i don't want to open it because i want them to open it i'll show you guys in a future vlog when they open it for her birthday so subscribe and stay tuned for that honestly just follow me on instagram because i'll definitely post what it looks like but also subscribe because vlogmas and i'm gonna be posting a lot of videos I honestly probably shouldn't be talking this much, but whatever. My mom is making tortellini soup right now. I'm so excited. I haven't had it in so long, and I'm so looking forward to it. It's ready. Okay, let's go. So this is just cheese tortellini from Whole Foods with some spinach and chicken broth. So yum. So change of plans, the tortellini had too much cheese and the inside was filled with cheese and I didn't want to risk it getting stuck in the sutures just in case. So we have the wagon wheel pasta with the same broth and the same spinach. It looks insane. Okay, you guys, it is 11.24 at night. I just finished editing Vlogmas Day 8, which is the vlog that's going up tomorrow. I'm so glad that I was just able to finish editing that video. I don't know why I kept that work for the day of my surgery, but luckily it wasn't too bad. I'm exhausted though. I'm gonna go to bed. I love you, and I'll see you tomorrow. Mwah.